Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tanisha. If you haven't already know, so I filmed this on my Sony camcorder and it wasn't working. So I was like, you know what? I have my makeup done, as you can see. Kind of feeling this natural look. If you want me to actually do a if you want me to show you guys how I do my natural look when I leave the house and go about my business and <laughs> do my errands, let me know in this comment below and I definitely would work on that. But yeah. I actually got my eyebrows together. But that's not the point. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a story time. <sighs> this is going to be a... Whew, a three-in-one story time that... I just fucking regret how I acted when I was younger, but I don't know how I'm gonna tie this video. But three of the videos is space is gonna tell, it's gonna talk about basically how I got jumped, stabbed, and f got fought, and we're gonna talk about that. So not ready for this, but make sure you thumbs up this video, comment down below, and subscribe if you already haven't, and let's get right into the story time. So, my the first story, um, I was in, I believe I was in high school, no, we're going to start from ninth grade. So in ninth grade, I was in elementary, I was in ninth grade, and um, I had a boyfriend at the time. Hold up another story in a different day, but I had a boyfriend at the time. And he was my first ever boyfriend for six months, and then we broke up. But around that time, I used to be a rebellious child back in 2000. And throughout, well, growing up, I was like a really rebellious child. But this, at this age, I just didn't care, honestly, when it came to, like, bullshit. So, I just basically was just like, okay, let's do this. So, for me... I couldn't care less about staying out late, knowing that my curfew was around 11.30. My mother wasn't playing with that. So she used to call me at the time and I never would get pick up my phone, which I'm like, I should have just picked up my phone nowadays because if I was, if I was, if it was the opposite and I had a child, I would want my child to pick up her phone because I, I'm not paying your bill for no damn reason. But anyway, so I end up sleeping over my... I still sleep over. I ended up was chilling at my boyfriend's house, and I was, and it was th by the time I I, I need to go home, so I needed to go home. It was I actually left his house pretty pretty late because it was I think it was getting about this getting about this couple about this month where, um, I just needed to like legit calm down, and be able to do what the, do what the hell I wanted to do, um, when it comes to education and start getting myself in trouble and putting myself in predicaments where I don't need to be so I ended up leaving his house around 7 30 close to 8 o'clock my bus was coming at 8 15 and I left his house around 7 30 like 7 45 ish and I just remember like walking down so like our school where we go to is five minutes it's like literally up the street from his house like five minutes it's like a five minute walk honestly so I'm walking down like this hill and I'm out of my business and I'm listening, I'm listening to music and at this point I am um I have my iPod in my hand. I have my iPod in my hand. I have my iPod Nano, I have my sidekick, I have my I have a I have my book bag from school. No, I didn't have a book bag. I have like my little mini little book bag. I had my my wallet and then I also had my um what else did I have oh I had my umbrella because it was raining that day so I had five things on me so I'm walking and walking and walking and I'm not paying no mind so when you're walking down this hill you're not you're really just like okay so there's no lights where the school is it's just pitch black but you can kind of see where you're going in the nighttime. So I'm walking listen to music minding my business usually that's what I do and um the bus I when I was checking the bus the bus was coming exactly at 8:15 and I live 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes from the school so 
um, I was like, I should take the shortcut, but I don't want to walk around because you never know what goes on when you walk around. So I was like, I'm just going to walk down and just wait for the bus and cross the street and wait for the bus. So I'm walking, 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 and I hear chit-chat on the other side of me. And I'm not paying no mind. So I see four girls that I have seen before, but I don't know who they are. And growing up, when you're a child, you really don't really care about these kids. So we have this park called Washington Park, which every single kid you wanted to go to, but it was really violent. Over there, people used to get shot, people used to get stabbed, people used to get jumped over there. So me and my cousin used to always sneak to go over there. And we got, and I remember I got into some pretty solid fights or got into some serious arguments with females over there. Because of like the way I looked or how I, or how I was dressed. I was a young child. I wasn't into sex. I wasn't into this. But I lost my virginity. I lost my virginity. I had sex with my boyfriend of ninth grade but I didn't lose my journey to him. I saw another story in a whole different the day. If you guys want to hear that, comment down below. But I do know that um I wasn't so into sex sex and getting your nipples pierced or your ear, or your second ear pierced. I was on my fucking first so I wasn't into all that. You know what I'm saying? Like I was still put together but I was still experiencing a lot, right? So Walking down, I'm hearing chit chat, and all I'm hearing is like people, these girls, like laughing and um, talking, like mumbling towards each other. But I'm not paying them no mind because at this point, I'm trying to get home. So one of the leaders, she ends up. I can hear her motion doing this. So she's basically telling them to come on, and you can tell they cross in the street. They look both ways to see if any cars are going to pass by, and they cross in the street. So I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe. Because when they walk on the other side, this is kind of like a dead end, and you have to cross the street anyway. So I'm kind of off halfway. The school's right here. So I'm kind of, like, passing by the school at this point. And I'm, like, this close going down the hill. So once I get down to the hill, like, so close down to the, to the tree, down to the hill, my bus stop, all I gotta do is cross the street, get on the bus stop, and wait for my bus. So, I, so they're walking. I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe they're gonna just gonna walk down the hill and walk and walk down the hill together. No. She, one of the girls, she stops me. Like, she stops, like, she stops, she turns around, she stops. The leader of it, of the group. And I walked, and I have like my my book, my little small little book pad, and I walk around her, and I kept it walking. So then all of a sudden I feel like a tug, and I I swerve back, I, I turned around, swerve back, and I just had like I had like my stance on, um, and all of a sudden one of the girls kind of like pushed me. I don't know these girls from a can of pain. Maybe I got into arguing with them. Maybe my cousins got into arguing, but I don't know this girl because I, I remember faces. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I said, what's up? So she, the, the girl, so one of the girl, the leaders goes, I don't like your facial expression. I said, I don't know you. So how, in order for you to, I was like, in order for you to like my, do not like my facial expression, you're supposed to know me and you don't know me. I, don't, I damn sure don't know you. So that's it. You're irrelevant to me. And she's like, oh, I'm irrelevant. So she snatched off my, um, my headphones and then she pushes me to the ground, like really hard to the ground. So I fall back and all girls are trying to jump me. So at this point, I'm legit fighting mode. So I'm fighting, like I'm literally fighting for my life. Fighting. And at this point, I'm like, yo. I'm really, really about to miss my bus, but at the end of the day, I'm really about to legit get jumped by four girls that I don't even know. So I'm fighting these girls, and the, the leader of the and the leader of the group is watching me get jumped by four of these three girls. But I'm fighting. So at this point, I um took one of the girls' hair and I wrapped it, and I'm holding her down, and I have my other hand 
legit trying to fight and I got my legs kicking. So I'm so I remember I kick one of the girls in the face of my feet and I had this one girl pinned down with my fist with her hair wrapped in and she's pinned down on the floor like on the cement because I have her like kind of like in the choker like this but I have her here. So at this point she's like hitting trying to hit me. She's doing like she's trying to hit me and I'm trying to knock this other girl out that's trying to get me. So then at this point all of a sudden, I feel my adrenaline going up. I'm feeling this adrenaline going, and all I feel is like a kind of like a like a, a swipe going past my thigh. Don't think nothing of it at that mind. Keep in mind, I don't think nothing of it because your adrenaline is up. So I'm just fighting. All of a sudden, I hear one of the girls say, "Let's go, let's go, let's go." So they get off of me. I get. I I'm still holding on to the girl's hair. So she's. Telling me to get off of her and they pulling her off of me. They're like, let go, let go. I said no. So I'm fighting her. Because at this point she's fighting me and I'm fighting her. And so all of a sudden she let I let go of her hair and she and they end up getting up and running. So at this and I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? So then I look around me, I'm like, what? So I sit up and I start crying when I'm when I'm angry, I start to cry. So I'm like, what the fuck? And I keep saying, what the fuck? And I grab my iPod Nano because my iPod Nano was was like kind of like towards the street. And I was going to grab it because one of the cars is about to drive by. I grab my phone. I'm grabbing everything. So when I start to get up, I, I did that. Like I kind of hopped. And I'm like, yo. And your journalist shot is still up. But at the same time, you can feel something. So I look down. My I, I found that my thigh got slashed. It's a mark to this day, but it's like a faint mark. It's not that serious, but at that point, I'm like, seriously? So then I grab myself. I look at the time. It's 7.50. So I said, okay. So I end up limping down the street. Mind you, down the street, I'm still limping. I take my I take my sweater, like it's kind of like this. I take my sweater, wrap it around. It's long enough so it hides my thigh. And I kind of... Thank God. I don't know why us kids have bandanas, but um, I'm half Kevin, you have Dominican, so I have like a, a, a flat one of my flags and I end up wrapping on my thigh just to hold it steady and put pressure on it. And I'm I'm limping bad. So one of the one one of the bus drivers, he knows my family. So if anything happens, if he sees me kind of like wounded or something like that, he will literally call my family. So I was trying to make it seem like. Uh, I had so much stuff, so I had like my bag holding on, and I was about to put. He told me to go, so I go. And he goes, "You good?" I said, "Yeah, I'm fine. It's fine." Cause he usually would just wait for me. So we, he, you know, I, and I ended up going home, not telling my mom. Um, the only thing I was thinking about was my father being home and asking me questions when he's sitting there. I'm just like, yo, like I should have just at least called somebody, called the police, and said something. But at that point, you don't want to snitch. And I was those type, and I was that type of girl. So, yeah, the first incident I got, I got stabbed um, by four girls because they didn't like how my facial expression is. Because at at that age, I have a resting bitch face. So, if any of you guys meet me, you guys, or you guys see me in Boston, you guys watch my videos, and you're born and raised in Boston like I am, and you watch my videos and you see me, and you. I have a bitch face, but don't be intimidated because when you say hi, I'm like, oh, I watch your videos, I'm a subscriber, I'm a, you know, I'm a supporter, you know, I would definitely be like, oh my god, I'll give you a hug, but don't, looks can be deceiving, and I have that, and I'm one of them, so, yeah, that was one of the story, one of, the one of three stories of me, um, getting stabbed. The second story, um, I end up being in high school, and I was trying to find myself. I went to East Boston High School. I ended up transferring to East Boston High School from Sierra Hill. And um, it was a new fresh year. After my sister passed away, I was on myself. So I went right back to school in April. And it was one of these kids that I would call um, Bozo the Clown. He was really the Bozo the Clown of it all. And I didn't have time. So for him to try his life with me it was more of just like he was a clown trying to be the class clown and he was so annoying and as hell so my thing was like i don't have time for the bullshit so um 
these girls, they love, these group of girls love to basically bu bully other girls that don't have what they have. And I was one of the females, but I was in, a, I was in one of the a type of group with this one girl um, that was really popular. And sh I clinged to her because she was really cool. But I didn't cling to her because she was popular. I clinged to her because she was really cool. And we met on the bus going to school. And she's younger than me. I'm older than her. So it was one time we were walking, we're going to we going to um, Burger King in downtown Boston, and um, what's saying now, chum. But when we walk in there, one of the girls' name, let's call her Shakisha, because she's the one of the motherfucking bullies. Shakisha is on like this um, on this little stone um, rock, and she's sitting there. She's like, oh, she calling me all types of names. She's just like, I'm a. And I was the type of child where I didn't like confrontation. And I damn sure didn't like being bullied or I didn't like feeling some type of way from feeling. I used to I used to let people t I used to take it from people. Which was really bad. And I didn't mean to do all of it, but I used to take it from a lot of females. And Shakiza was one of it. And so we ended up going to Burger King. Her sister told told her to quit it because I she knows me and she's like, I need you to quit it. Cause at that point. She's like, you ain't nothing anyway. So, I go in, we go in, and I guess Bozo the Clown, because I was cussing him out down the hill because I was telling him to shut up. Like, you're not, you're not funny, be quiet, blah, blah. and I guess he wanted to get me jumped for me standing up for myself. And I just didn't understand that because boys at that time used to have a group of girls that used to logistic for them. So if anything happens, they don't have to be a female. They let their girls do it. They let, or they let the females do it. So I guess he said something to Shakisha and she kind of felt some type of way. But his sister ended up leaving. So she ended up coming inside Burger King and she's come up to me. She goes, I heard you talking trash about my, about my bro. I said, who your bro? And she goes, Bozo the Clown. I was like okay and she goes oh so you have mouth I was like I'm not, I don't have mouth but you're, you're accusing me of coming at your bro when he came at me first so what are you trying to say and she was like oh so you have mouth I said like, I'm not having mouth I'm explaining you the situation but you over here getting vexed for no reason and she's like, I'm not getting vexed for any reason. It's just to the point where it's just like, you're not supposed to say anything to me. I was like, it's a kind of a free country. I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. And she's like, oh, okay. I want to fight. I was like, okay, good for you. Go outside and do that and do that yourself. So everybody's like, oh, so I guess they didn't like that. I was thinking for myself. So at that time, I had, my sister passed away in 2010. And I went to school. And around that time, I was still, I was with, I was there. So... 2011, I went right back to school, but at the same, she passed away in 2010, ugh, whoa. September 30th, 2010, and I wasn't myself, I wasn't, I really wasn't myself, and when you have a guard up, you don't have time for bullshit, you don't have time for people's mess, you damn sure have time to be hearing the one's mouth, and I wasn't hearing it because my sister told me when I if anything happens to me I want you to legit put your foot down and I was I think that was around that time I was putting my foot down so then all of a sudden she gets she tells me to get up and we go outside so it's not her fighting me Shakisha's not the one that's fighting me another Shakisha wanted to come up out of the cut and fight me so I'm like I'm not fighting so I'm standing there because at this point I was like I'm not scared anybody I'm not fighting nobody and so everybody's like getting their cameras on stuff like that. And then she starts swinging at me, guys. Like started swinging at me, but I'm not swinging. Because I'm not fighting you. What the fuck am I fighting you for? Over a nigga? Like really? So she's swinging. I'm getting hit. But at the same time, I'm not feeling anything. Because I don't feel, I don't feel your punches. Like it's not. And so then this all of a sudden this lady comes in. She kind of like saves me. And the and the, the other second strike keeps so Another bully wants to run after her. And so at this point... I lose my pen like I lose my sister's pen and that's what makes me emotional because I just lost my sister it hasn't even been a month yet I just got back to school we just celebrated her birthday I'm not myself and for y'all to come at me and bully me and shit that's some disrespectful bitch shit like you're a bitch for that so I lose my pen and I'm not myself and I'm going to my girl's house 
and she's cussing, you know, Bozo the Clown now, and she's just like, you're a punk for that. That doesn't make any fucking sense. You need to stick up for what, you need to stick up for what the fuck you do, because that's not, that's not, that's something you don't fucking do. You are fucking annoying sometimes, so of course she's going to say what she have to say, because she's her own person. How about, like, she's going in, and I'm crying, because I want my sister's pen. So then, I go to school. And I found out that Shakisha, the first girl, um, she ended up getting jumped. She comes to school with a black eye. And I don't know if it has to do with me, but I knew my fi my family, whenever they hear some shit at the eye got jumped or a video has surfaced, they will, f they will find that person, they will fuck that person up. So, I don't know what happened, but I know that she likes to run her mouth and she got jumped and ever since then she don't run her mouth because she has a daughter of her own and I remember going to the mall and seeing her and um and um I know that Bozo the Clown ended up getting suspended for two weeks because of that incident because it surfaced and then they end up deleting the video and then like so I still see them or they kind of I saw um Sharkeisha at Cambridge Gallery Mall like two years ago and my girl Panda Bear was just like, bitches like that need to get their ass whooped because no one doesn't like jumping. Because if you're going to jump, you're a bitch. And she said directly at her. And she didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. She got up and she walked away. And she was like, hey, you fucking ugly. And she didn't say anything. And ever since then, it was more of just like, you can't say anything. So, yeah. So my first first story time, I got stabbed. This time I got jumped. And so this last story time, I basically got punched in the face by a bet. And I was young. I was six years old. And I look at the story like, what the fuck? Like, I whenever I have a daughter, I'm going to make sure she's like legit standing up for herself at a very young age because there's bullies out there and I don't want my daughter coming home crying to me talking about or or being really quiet and she goes to her room and she, anything happens to her and she kills her so I don't want that so and because I was on that verge I end up I end up I would be putting up a story time of me actually writing a suicide letter and actually trying to commit suicide as I told this last story time I was six years old, and me and my cousins, Nani and Mal, we always chilled at Mal's house. Mind you, I'm, my house is right here, okay? My cousin, so it's one house, one apartment building house, another apartment building house, and my cousin's house, right? So we're right there, we're literally right there. Like, I legit get off, walk, 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 and I'm right here. So. We will always chill at Shanice's Mau Mau's house. So her real name, Shanice, whatever. Um, we always chill at her house and we used to dance outside and blah blah blah. So there was these neighbors that I couldn't stand. And if any of you guys watch this video, you guys and you guys know who you are, I have a message for you guys at the end. So keep watching. So she um a girl named Regina, I don't care if I say her name, Regina was a bully, and she, I, I hope and pray she's she's doing good, because she was a fucking bully. Her and her older sister was a fucking bully. Her mom wasn't. Her mom loved me. Her mom and my mom was really cool with each other, but her youngest, her older sister and her was fucking bullies. But anyway, um, I basically just was the quiet little girl I, I i every and i have a story time about how my family is but i'm the type i was the type of child where every single family members that didn't like me or didn't really care for me in a certain way will always blame me first before even looking at what the fuck their child is doing and i would get into that story time but i would have my best friend with me so at this point I was that type of child where I will let everybody run up on me, jump me, punch me, do whatever the fuck they want to do because I never spoke up for myself. Any single time I used to always get into fights, I was really heavy, I'm very heavy handed. So I used to literally damage 
a lot of people's faces and do certain things. So with this whole thing, I didn't. I didn't stick up for myself and oh my gosh, it's so crazy. So it was, it was, we was outside, I think it was in summertime and we was off from school. I remember this. And we're just chilling. So mind you, Regina had her cousin that come over, came came from somewhere, and so I guess her and her cousin was coming from the store like they always do, and they had to pass my cousin's house in order for them to go around to go to the corner store down the street. So I mean, down the hill, matter of fact. So me and my me and my cousins were just dancing and having a good time and being cousins and doing what we supposed to do because that's what kids do. They're six years old. They're gonna do what the fuck they wanna do outside okay okay until the headlights come on because you know when the headlights come on 90s kids what you do you get your black ass in the fucking house <laughs> so and that's what we did but around this time my mom wasn't home so i get to stay at my aunt's house and play with my cousins and then my older cousin um nani will go home she would go home around eight but she would be at you know Mal's house until she until um our uncle picks her up picks her up so we're chilling, we're having a good time, we're talking. My mom went to the, I think she went to the grocery store and um, Regina comes back from the corner store. Her and her cousin comes and they notice that we're dancing. And I was a dancer back then. I used to dance, I used to perform and all that. So still, so Regina goes, oh, hold up real quick. When we come back, we have something for all three of y'all. So we're like, yo, what the fuck? Well, we didn't say that, but we were just like, what? Like, what do they want? So they go to the store, they go all the way back home, and they come back out. And they're like, we have a bet. And we're looking at them like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, And she's like, I bet any of y'all to have a dance contest of each one of you guys. And whoever has the best moves wins but whoever loses gets punched by me gets punched in the face by me and my cousin and let's name our and let's name her cousin um mercedes because mercedes oh lord i have a story time for that yo anyway <laughs> so we're looking at them like yo what so then Regina's like, it's, it's a yes or a no. So I said no, because I'm like, I'm not about to get punched in the face by nobody. So then Regina's like, oh, you scary cat, you scary cat. I was like, I'm not a scary cat to get punched in the face, but I'm not damn a scary cat to dance. Because I dance all the time. I go I go to the damn, fuck, I go to camp and I dance. Like, what? So then she's still like, whatever, whatever, whatever. So then Nani goes, Nani goes, Nene, you can dance. You probably will end up winning. So when we end up, so I was like, fuck it, fine, whatever. I ain't getting punched in the face though. I know that for a fact. So, Nani and Regina didn't like each other because Nani liked her older brother, and because her older brother was cute, but he wasn't my he was older and he wasn't my type. But for her, she liked her older brother. Like I said, my Nani was is is a year. She's a year older than me. Yes, because I'm 25. She's 20. She will be 20 seven yeah she will be 27 um and i will be 26 yeah she's a year older than me so two, one two years older than me so she um what did so then shani's goes first and me and nani goes you know second and third and after that i had the best moves but Regina didn't want to didn't want to do that because her cousin didn't like me. She, Regina liked me and Meow, but she hated Ivana. But then her cousin said, "Nope, she won." And she points to Meow, and these two can get these two can get punched in the face because I don't like her. And she points to me. I'm like, I don't know you for the can of beans, so I don't so I don't understand why you don't like me. If I don't if I don't if I don't. If you don't know me and that's the thing every single female you still don't you should dislike me because of how i how i acted they was jealous or it was like i got it i got it had it better in life or something type of shit because my, my mom didn't play that so i'm just like yo calm down like i don't know you from a campaign so what so me and nani regina punches nani i guess it kind of like swerved so she didn't get punched like that 
but all of a sudden I get punched out of nowhere like her cousin comes out of nowhere and punches me in my face and at that point my nose starts bleeding and I get a, I get like a kind of like a cut on my lip and they run they run you guys like that shit hurt because it came out of nowhere and they run so I legit started crying because it's like yo what what was the point like what was the reason for that are we dumb? So, we run back because now I see my mom's van. Because at this point, fuck this. I'm telling. So, we go on the back. We run in my back. My mom knows how they are. So, she doesn't like that shit. So, I guess her cousin was on her way leaving right on motherfucking time because her aunt comes out the cut, right? So, her aunt, her, uh, Regina's aunt picks up her cousin. And then they acting like everything's brand new. So then all of a sudden I walk to my mom and my mom's like, what the fuck happened? What the fuck's going on? Like going off. And because she was about to, no, actually my mom was about to drop Nani off, walk, go off home. And Mal was going to tag along, tag along. And so all of a sudden, all of a sudden, my mom walks out kind of like, because the, the, the street, the little sidewalk streets right here. So when the, when the, when the um, cars come, they have to go through the bumps. She stops in front of the car like, stop the car. I need to talk to you real quick. I need to talk to you real quick. And, yo, thank for Jehovah God, though. Like, thank for Jehovah God, though. Her aunt was, her, her, Regina's aunt's car was parked next to my mother's car. So it was easier for the bitch. To get the, to make sure she was bumping and grinding so she can stop real quick. And my mom told her to get out the car. I need to talk to you real quick. So she told me the point. I said it was her. It was her. I don't know why she punched me. Like, talking about she don't like me. Also, I don't know her. So then her arm gets, her, the mother gets out the car and she's like, what? And she looks and my mother goes, look at her face. Look at her face. This is what, this is what you teach your daughter? She could already know how Regina is, but this is what you teach your daughter? So then Regina's mom, here's my mom, and um, the girls aren't, aren't like, going at it. And to the point where she ends up running down. So then Regina's like, no, mom. So then Regina's mom kind of like hit it, like move. So she runs down. She goes, what's wrong, Shirley? What's wrong? What's wrong? So then she, my mom's like, look at, what, look, at, look at what she did. Look at what she did. I'm tired of going off. So then the aunt's like, uh-uh. She grabs my, she grabs her dad out the car. She, she's, she swung that, she swung that damn door open. She swung it open. She's like, get out. Get out. She ain't even look, she ain't look at her dad. She told her to get out. And at this point, I'm scared because I'm, I'm smaller than her cousin. Her cousin's like 13. So you messing around with a six, a, th a six year old. A six year old. You want to punch a six year old? in the face out of nowhere because you don't like her and you don't even know her from the kind of pain and we don't even go to the motherfucking same school and you 13 years old my nigga like what so the aunt grabs her and was like did you punch her she doesn't say anything all of a sudden her mother goes did you punch her she goes yes ma'am she goes for what I guess when she did this, for what? Her daughter backs up like, Mama is not, she's like, for what? What you punch her for? And she didn't say, she made up an excuse saying some, some, some shit. So then her mother comes to me and she goes, why did she punch you, love? I said, she came out the, Regina and her always, I was like, Regina does this all the time. And they come to the, they, came, they went to the corner store, they come back, they talk about we have something for y'all. If three of y'all do a dance competition, y'all battle each other, whoever has the best moves wins. But who doesn't have the best moves gets punched in the face. So they only chose, so the cousin goes, I guess Regina picked me and then picked Meow, but she didn't pick. Nani, cause her and Nani don't like each other. So then her cousin goes, "No, I don't like, I don't like um, Meow's cousin, which is me." Which she, she points to me, and she's like, we, um, "I punch her, and then you punch her." And she point telling Regina to punch um, Nani, and I'm telling her the whole story. Cause at this point, I'm no punch her. So then her mom looks at her daughter, and I swear to God on my sister's grave, she slaps the crap. Out of her daughter. And I 
never heard that shit. It was more than that. It was harder. And she had a mark on her face. And it looked like her mother was so disappointed that it was like, are you dumb? And her aunt, you know, and um, Regina's mom kind of like looked at Regina was like, what, what, what's your reason for you bullying these kids? Like, you, I'm hearing your mouth every day. Why are you bullying these kids? They, these kids don't got nothing on you. You don't have a right to, you, we all, you grew up with Mal and Nene for you to do that? That's, yo. And so she takes Regina's ear and she brings it upstairs. So, but the thing is, the mom looks at me and tells me to slap her daughter. I said, she already got slapped twice. So her mom said, like, no, no, slap her. She needs to learn. Like, she needs to learn. I didn't talk my daughter this. Like, she's going to do a rant talking like she didn't talk her daughter this. I don't know which her daughter is getting this, getting this type of shit from. But not, but not in my house. Not outside my house. Not anywhere near my sister's house. She will get her ass whooped. I will wear her ass out. Slap her. I said, you was going to do a rant. You going to tell me to slap her? Damn, okay. So then I'm scared to slap her. Like, you understand? So my mom goes, slap her. I said, like I'm looking at my mother like yo you egging her on too though no so all of a sudden I slap her it wasn't as hard but I slapped her and her mother goes no 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 I need you to slap her like slap her the way she as a matter of fact punch her the way she punched you punch her and I punched her like I punched her and she had a busted lip and one of her her gums of her teeth was bleeding and she started crying i said the bench wasn't so hard and she goes yo she she kept going off so then she, then her mother told her to get like throws her in the car slams home damn door telling her my mom she's sorry looking at me like i'm sorry baby like she's all sweet and everything now she gets in the car she drives off she didn't care about the bump she said yeah i'm gonna drive off and i don't know it's just like I just didn't understand that I used to do that growing up. I used to literally let people take, like, I used to let people take, like, beat me up and do this and bully me and, and take, and I think it's because I was scared of the consequences and I also was scared of getting that type of energy away from people. Like, even though you have seen the story time of me stabbing my cousin, I ended up going to court for it. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe if you already have it. I'm Tanasia Bell. Stay blessed. I love you guys so, so much. <sighs> um, I wouldn't have done this without you guys. Honestly, I've been going through a lot for these past couple of weeks. But I'm trying to make it through each and every day um, with these days off. So I can be able to try to get these videos for you guys. But um, I will be bringing up with you for more videos. And yeah, um, i see you guys in the next video. Hi guys.